The term implies basically um, eating your own feces uh, could be related to human behavior or to animal behavior. I suspect the behavior is, is rare, but I also suspect it's underreported. I don't think a lot of family members and patients will bring that up to their doctors without being specifically asked the question. There were six patients were demented or had a dementia, and the others did not. Um, but the ones that had, a, uh, uh, that had dementia had a brain scan, an MRI scan, that really looks at detail of the brain. Now, what was interesting, what I found, was that a part of the brain called the, the amygdala, essentially, um, which is a, the, the medial part of the temporal lobe, was really affected in these patients. And that's quite interesting because in the literature, if you go back 20 or so years ago, there is one study whereby they, they, um, they, they lesioned the amygdala in, in monkeys. And the monkeys developed this uh, eating behavior where they would eat anything, things that weren't even edible, including their feces. So it has been postulated that the amygdala was the, or is the, um, is the correlate, the anatomic correlate of this behavior. So I suspect that it is, it, it, it is it's probably not just one area, but a network of areas, but clearly this region called the amygdala seemed to be involved. The behavior does exist. Um, and um, that if it is observed, I think it is worthwhile discussing this with your primary care physician, internist, neurologist, psychiatrist, nurse, etc. Um, and know that there, there is treatment available. The, you know, your loved one doesn't have to be removed from the, the um, assisted living environment or the nursing home environment because they, it can be treated. I think in, in most of these patients, the behavior um, um, responded to haloperidol.